My name is Lisa. My husband Dominic and I run a farm. Recently, our daughter Madison has been actively helping us. Dominic, can you pack those vegetables in the cardboard box for me? Got it. Mom, what should I do? Can you check those carrots over there and see if any are damaged? All right, leave it to me. Madison is so good, always stepping up to help on her own. The moments when our family of three lovingly tends to our vegetables are the happiest for me. Apart from being farmers, we're also involved in the wholesale vegetable business. While most of our business contacts are great people, there are a few who can be problematic. Lisa, did you bring this week's vegetables as promised? Yes. We've harvested fresh vegetables again this week. What's this? The shapes are all over the place again. As I've said before, we don't use pesticides, so our vegetables might be a little irregular in shape. Just because they're pesticide-free, does that mean they should be this misshapen? Are they really that twisted? Are you trying to deny what your customer is saying? And no, of course not. Thank you for always giving feedback. I'll take it into consideration. This lady is Emery, the proprietress of a high-end traditional Japanese restaurant called Setsujeka. It's a renowned establishment that has been in business for many generations. Our families have been in business since our parents' time, they're essentially one of our prime customers. I used to play with Emery when we were kids, but I've always found her haughty attitude a bit off-putting. As I was wrapping up today's delivery and about to leave, Emery. Ah, uh, wait a moment. I have a favor to ask. Oh. What favor? Next month, we're expecting a series of group reservations and it's going to be busy. We'll even have to extend our closing hours on some days. So, I'd like to place a large order of vegetables. That's great to hear. You can count on us. Let's see. I'll need about 12 million yen worth. 12 million yen? Yes, I expect only the best quality vegetables. Oh, thank you so much. I was over the moon about the 12 million yen order. When I went home and reported it to Dominic and Madison. 12 million in one shot. Is that a big deal? Absolutely. At this rate, we'll run out of most of the veggies in our field. Wow, that fancy restaurant lady really stepped up. We've hit the jackpot this month. We'll be significantly in the black. I'm so thrilled. I'll be honest, Emery isn't my favorite person, but this is truly a blessing. But packing 12 million yen's worth of vegetables is going to be a huge task. We'll all have to pitch in. Do you think the three of us can handle it? Nah. It's a bit too much for just us. You're right. Let's get some of our farmer acquaintances to help. So, we got some help from nearby farmers, and together we packed all the vegetables. On the delivery day, in high spirits, I drove the truck to Emery's restaurant to deliver the vegetables and... Emery, that's everything. Now, if you could sign here. Actually, I changed my mind. What? You don't want them? Yes. Please cancel the 12 million yen delivery. Wah! Are you joking? Some of our customers cancelled, so I'm cancelling the veggies too. Cancelling on the day of delivery is so unfair. At least take the amount reserved for the customers who are still coming. Denied. I've been thinking for a while that your veggies are too pricey. I don't care if they're pesticide-free or handmade. I don't like the fact that they're so overpriced. Well, our strength is in the care and effort we put into growing our produce. So what? Does that mean you can charge a premium? I compared with other suppliers. Theirs is so much cheaper. The price is like January 10th th of yours. So, I've decided to contract with them from now on. Hold on, aren't those mass imported from foreign countries? Yes. After seeing those prices, domestic produce seems too expensive. Even the local diner uses them. There's no problem. A traditional restaurant's dishes should be more delicate than those of a diner. The quality of vegetables will definitely affect the taste perceived by customers. Don't preach about my restaurant's taste. All vegetables taste the same. And stop overcharging. If you've nowhere to go with those, I can take them at a 90% discount? That's absurd. There's no way I'd give away this amount of quality vegetables for next to nothing. Then take them back. Could you move your dirty, muddy truck out of the way? Ahaha. <laughs> with those words, I was cast out with the vegetables I had prepared. I tried to load the vegetables back onto the truck, but
but I was so frustrated I couldn't move. Just then, a voice called out to me from behind. Hello, these are splendid vegetables. Thank you. Are these the veggies you usually supply to Emery? You know quite a bit. But she just terminated our contract. Now I don't have anywhere to deliver these veggies. No way. It's absurd to reject such high-quality produce from your farm. Would you let me buy them? Ideally, all of them. Really? All of it. And you are. I apologize for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Mia, the owner of the restaurant across the street. The one across the street? Our place is a new establishment. And we've been struggling to find a good farm supplier. Securing high-quality produce from a rival supplier feels like a dream. Please, let's do business from now on. Really? That's exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you. I look forward to our collaboration. The person who rescued me in my hour of need was Mia, the owner of the restaurant Tsubaki. Things moved quickly, and we secured a long-term contract. Once I got home, I began preparing for the new contract. And at the same time, I was looking for the contract with Emery's restaurant, but I can't find it. Dominic, do you know where the contract with Emery is? Uh, the contract with Emery? I don't know. Well, I'll be stepping out for a bit. Handle the new contract, okay? Wait, Dominic. He has the seal we need for the documents. And his behavior seemed odd. Is that an incoming call? Dominic left his phone. Oh. It's from Emery? Mom, look at this. Isn't this something important? Madison? Sorry, I'll be right there. Just a sec. Wait, is this? It's a contract, right? I found it crumpled up in the trash. You've got to be kidding. Why? Oh, there's something written on it. Madison had found the crumpled contract with Setsujeka, the one for Emery's restaurant. When I looked into the notes written on it, I uncovered a shocking truth. Later, I went to Tsubaki and devised a strategy with Mia, planning to execute it. A month after that, as I delivered vegetables to Mia. Lisa, thank you for the vegetables again this week. We've had a huge increase in customers. We're even busier than Setsugeka now. Your farm truly is the best. Wow, that's great to hear. So, there's a TV crew coming today, right? It's not just an interview, it's live broadcast. Of course, I'd love for you to appear as the farmer. Wait, what? Me too? TV? Oh, that's an interesting tidbit. Ha, huh? ho, oh, Emery. Do you have something to gain from us being on TV? Or is it just jealousy from your rival? Ho, ho. Thinking of us as rivals is your own perspective. Unlike your place, ours has a long-standing history. There's a difference in class. When the TV crew comes, introduce them to my restaurant as the one you respect. What? Why would we do that? If not, I'll spill the beans about how you're using veggies from the farmer I dumped. A restaurant using discarded vegetables from a long-standing establishment. How do you think viewers would feel? Even if Lisa's vegetables are delicious, TV won't convey the taste to the viewers, will it? How underhanded! Lisa, this might just work to our advantage. What do you mean, Mia? Trust me on this. As they continued... It was soon time for the live broadcast. Today, we'd like our viewers to savor the pride of Tsubaki's coarse dishes. Look at this. Such a colorful array of dishes. Mia, which one would you recommend? Before that, hello viewers. I'm the owner of Setsugeka. Wait, what? We were supposed to cover Tsubaki today. If you're showcasing Tsubaki, you should also know about Setsugeka. After all, Tsubaki modeled itself after us. I'm not so sure about. Setsujeka is the historical establishment right opposite Tsubaki. We're the epitome of luxury. Tsubaki's recent popularity is because they use the veggies I recommended. Is that so? To verify that, let's have you taste Setsujeka's dishes too. Determine which one captures the authentic taste. Someone, bring the dishes. Um, Mia. Here's our proud dish. This looks lavish. Let's try Setsujeka's dish first. Um, um, this vegetable. Yes. Fresh and delicious, isn't it? It tastes old and slightly spoiled. Some are dry, unusually sweet, and some are hard. This is luxury. Don't be deceived. These aren't the veggies from our farm. Setsujeka uses imported vegetables. What are you saying? Looks like you've been found out. Damn it, a critic with good taste. Farmer, what's this about? 
Recently, Setsujeka cancelled a 12 million yen order of our veggies. They said compared to imports, domestic produce is too expensive. What are you talking about? Haha, ah, that's the fun of live TV. All right, studio audience, we're about to break into Setsugeka's kitchen. Stop right there. I'll sue for damages to our reputation. There's Setsugeka. The kitchen's that way, right? Camera, follow me. No, the kitchen's a company secret. I knew TV would be ruthless in pursuit of ratings. I was surprised by the reporter's enthusiastic approach, but it's turning into an interesting development. As a large crowd that heard about the live broadcast watches, the broadcasting team arrives in the kitchen of Setsujeka. So, are these top quality vegetables or imported products? Show us. You're not allowed. I told you the kitchen is a company secret, didn't I? Oh my, you said the vegetables were top quality, didn't you? Huh. Yes, they are top quality. Camera, are you getting this? Deep in the kitchen, there are many boxes labeled imported. Hey, don't film that. I'll sue you. The one getting sued might be you. Everyone watching at home, please look. This is the Setsugeka website. It says here that they use all locally produced vegetables, fish, and meat. So, whether those boxes contain vegetables, meat, or fish, this website is lying. This is getting heated. It's going viral. This is bad. Everybody, it's all lies. Perhaps the owner of Tsubaki is jealous of my long-standing establishment and wants to tarnish its reputation, huh? I'm not trying to expose her lies out of any such intentions. What I can't forgive is how Setsugeka dismissed our farmers. If we didn't buy their vegetables, they would have lost precious farmers, you know? That's terrible. Is this true? Let's hear from the farmer. It's true. They brushed off our prideful vegetables, saying all vegetables are the same. The owner of Setsugeka cancelled at the last minute and even insulted them as muddy and dirty. I was in utter despair and thought of closing down at that time. Enough with the lies. Everyone gets cancellations, right? No, this owner had always planned to cancel my vegetables. In the end, she even said she'd take them for free. That was her intention from the beginning. Do you have proof? Show me the proof. Can you prepare the contract you signed with us right now? Wah, the contract? You can't possibly produce it right now, can you? Of course not. You unilaterally destroyed our contract after all. Meanwhile, this is the contract with Setsujeka we had. As you can see, it's all messed up. Someone was trying to destroy it so that they wouldn't face damages. Why do you have that? You can't say this on broadcast. I'll make you pay for this. Saying things about destroying the contract, it's terrible. Tsubaki's owner and the farmer are trying to tarnish my reputation. Stop making such baseless accusations. You're the one who destroyed it. It was my husband who did it. You ordered him to destroy it, right? This owner, she was having an affair with my husband. Hey, this is on TV. Wow, this is getting interesting. And, and, what was written on the note? Please destroy the contract, okay? I'll reward you later, and such. Ah, he should have thrown it away properly. Hold on, could this be the husband? Ah, uh, no, wait. Don't point the camera at me. Your wife seems to have found the note. Is the affair true? Madison found the note and showed it to Mama. Oh, what a cute little girl. Wasting vegetables is something even Papa can't forgive. I hate this lady too. Old, old lady. You little brat. And then, Mama had hired a detective. Wah, a detective. Then, appearing was... Hello, I'm Detective Noah. At the request of Miss Lisa... I'm here to publicly announce the results of my investigation. As expected, Mr. Dominic was indeed having an affair with the owner of Setsugeka, Miss Emery. Here are the photographic evidence. Eek. Stop. Don't show such a picture on TV. I was also asked to investigate the imported vegetables, so I'll announce that as well. The vegetables procured by Setsugeka are indeed the cheapest imports available in the market. I have captured photos of their transaction scene as well. I knew it. How dare they claim they are of top quality. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Lisa, this isn't what it looks like, I mean. Dominic, it's things like this that made me decide to divorce you and claim damages. Divorce? Are you joking at a time like this? Wait, it was just a momentary lapse. 
I truly love all of you, Lisa. What? Dominic, didn't you say you loved me the most? Seems like you just admitted to the affair. Oh, I've messed up. Here are the documents for the compensation claim. Make sure you don't throw these away. Arg, why is this happening to me? It's only natural. You insulted both the vegetables and the farmers who grew them. And on top of that, an affair. Ms. Lisa should definitely divorce her husband. Strong words from Mia, but they are spot on. There's no rebuttal. Don't broadcast this argument. We're almost at the end of the live broadcast. Oh no, I forgot to try Tsubaki's dishes. So, can I come again next week? That's okay, right? Yes, please do. We'll be eagerly awaiting your visit. I'm getting a cue card from the staff. Today's broadcast will be edited into a special feature. Is it okay with the farmers? Yes, go ahead. Yay. Madison will be on TV again. It's decided then. I'll also interview the detective later. So, the world will finally witness my professionalism on TV. Hey, interview me too. After the broadcast ended, the traditional restaurant Yukazuki Hana quickly became infamous on social media for all the wrong reasons. Customers were expressing sentiments along the lines of I knew it. On the other hand, the traditional restaurant Tsubaki became even more popular. Yukazuki Hana, which had been in business for generations, went out of business in less than a month. They faced divorce alimony, damage compensation to their establishment, and also fines for deceptive advertisements. They sought help from their prestigious parents, but were disowned and turned away. Meanwhile, she divorced her husband, Dominic, and demanded alimony and child support for Madison. Although the two were close friends behind the scenes, after being abandoned by everyone else, their quarrels were constant, leading to their breakup. Thus, the two of them ended up leading a miserable life without a home, job, or money. As for the rest of us. Well, Lisa's farm is so big. Welcome, Mia. Thank you for coming all this way. Oh my, there are so many great vegetables here. You grow more than just what you sell to my place, huh? Actually, yes. Speaking of which, congrats on your second store, Mia. Thanks. It's all thanks to your vegetables, Lisa. You've been busy too since then, haven't you, Lisa? Thankfully, I've been flooded with orders from all over the country. Morning, Mom. What can I help with today? Oh, morning, Mia. Hey there, Madison. Helping out, huh? Good job. Good morning, Madison. You really love helping out, don't you? Thank you always. Yep. Since it's just mom, Madison needs to help out a lot. Madison, you're such a good kid. After the legendary live broadcast, we received numerous inquiries, making our days even busier. We've increased our staff while maintaining the quality. It's challenging, but rewarding. Mia's restaurant is also thriving, and she's reportedly preparing to open a second branch. Fish, meat, seasonings, water, tableware, and vegetables. Mia, who values every producer, continues to inspire me. It's tough doing it all by myself, but other farmers and Madison actively help. I want to grow good vegetables, deliver tasty vegetables to everyone, and raise Madison properly. I am now full of hope and goals. Every day, I hustle between the farm and the town, all to bring smiles to everyone's faces. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more great content. Just click on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. See you in the next one.